guys you're welcome to part 2 of this video um, tutorial we're about to configure the SSTP for VPN now the necessary rule we're going to need is just um, the certificate authority and we're going to install it on our DC2 as you already know so if you have not watched part 1 of this video please uh, find the link below and uh, watch it first before continuing this video now to add the certificate authority row go to the dashboard and add row next go for next we're familiar with all this okay just go for next over here and here we're gonna go for ADCS and uh, nest and nest just keep going for nest not difficult and here we're going to go for certificate authority and uh, certificate authority web enrollment these two will service and go for nest and um, install all right you guys are back when this done okay guys it's finally done and um, as you can see here we have um, a link here to configure the ADCS on destination server so we're just going to follow that link and uh, continue by clicking on nest and uh, select boot and click on nest here we're creating the enterprise CEA so this server is joined to a domain controller so we can make it an enterprise here because it has to be joined to a domain controller before it can be an enterprise CA. Go for nest and now we can root CA nest and um, reach a new private key. Leave the settings the way it is and then click on nest and um, alright now my certificate name is uh, Saint Forward NDA. Yours might be one. Alright, so you go for nest and value uh, you go for nest and um, yes, nest and configure. Alright, so my certificate service configuration is taking place. When it's done, I'll be back. Okay, guys, it's done. So I'm gonna close that. Oh, we can close this. And um, now we're going for our certificate authority. Yes, you open that, open that up, and then you go for your like this. Now we'll go for certificate templates. From there, from there you right click on the white space here, and then you go for manage. Good. Now we're creating our security based on IPsec. So we're gonna right click on IPsec and go into duplicate templates. And here come to general, type in the name of your template. I wanna name mine VPN SSTP. You can give yours your favorite name, but make sure it's relevant. Uh, you come to request handling to allow private key to be supported and from there you go to subject name go for supply and the request just go for ok with this that is not a problem you go for extensions and um, application policies you click on edit add and then you look for server Server authentication. Click on that and then go for OK and OK. All right, that is what we need to do here. Extensions. Request and link. Go for allow. Subject name. General change name and you apply. And then you go for OK. Now for doing that, you can close this. Now you come to right click my certificate template, go for new, 
yeah you go for new and then um, you select the new certificate you just created which is a VPN SSTP which is this and then you go for OK and you can see that we have it now I've done this you can close that just go to MMC uh, add a snapping for certificate add it for my computer account next finish ok then you come down all the way to certificate and right click on certificate and you go for request new certificate go for next next good guys as you can see here I have the one but this which I just created so click on the more information icon and then uh, here go for common name as types it's highly common name here my common name should be, I want it to be VP and dot contour so office yeah contour so office dot com and I'll go for add doing that you apply you go for OK now as you can see the attention icon is gone so you can click on that checkbox there and go for enroll alright just finish enroll and we go for finish yeah after go for finish you can close this Okay. good guys I've done that now going to uh, the mode access configuration so by just going for choose part one we created that if you can remember so let's just go that's right here with access I want to go specify our new certificate we just created for use so Alright, over here, I'll be sure to right click on it and then you go for properties and come out with security. Okay, and then I'll come out with security and then I'll here where we have certificate empty box here, click on it and then you select certificate we just create that's VPN.com so, so office.com. Yours might be different, this is what I created click on that yes and you go for apply when you go for apply it prompt you that the routing service will restart just go for yes so the changes can take place all right guys after it's been done you go for ok and we're good to go so now the next thing to do now is we'll move on to our Windows 8 client to do the normal configurations over there and let's move there. Alright guys now we're here we just have to go to Internet Explorer. Take note that we've already done this and um, the IP address configuration here of this PC I'm trying to make it communicate with our network from outside the internet so to access our network because now we're using a different way of connecting so there are some configurations we need to do before we start the connection so now we just have to type because I'm not using um, DNS and my network for tutorial purposes so I just have to type the IP address of my server which is 40.40.5.5 when I go for that I'll get an interface which shows me that this is IIS 8 from Windows Server. Now I'm going to access the certificate service. To access that, you type set serve and you press enter. Now it's going to ask us for a password. Press our user, Vusa, which is Vusa, that is going to log in with his password or with his uh, user account. 
so user add contoso.com and we we'll type his password to access. Now Vusa will have to download the certificate from our certificate server. To do that, just go download a CA certificate and click on download CA certificate. Doing it just have to save this as you can see from to save. And uh, you can see there a uh, one sign there because probably I've uh, downloaded the certificate before. That is why I have one there. So I'm gonna open the folder and delete the old one. Which happened there? Elia, you don't know about that. Good. Now we have this certificate. So we can just close this or minimize it. Now the next thing to do is go to MMC. And uh, right, come to add a snapping, the uh, certificate snapping. My computer, look at computer, go for OK. Now we'll come down here, move on to the trusted root certificate authority. As you can see, we have couples of certificates here that comes with Windows by default. We need to add ours there. Are they being take note this is for practical purpose? It says okay, and it says self signed certificate to create it. I don't mean you brought a certificate from an, from uh, a particular CA an organization, they would also do the same process but it's slightly different from this because this is a self signed certificate we created and we are trying to access it ourselves. And these are the same process you have to go through if you purchase. We just let's go around. now right click on the certificate, go for all tasks, import, nest, browse to select the one we just downloaded, nest, nest, and finish. Now, since our importation was successful, good. Now, there's one more thing we need to do make this really work. As you can see that is the certificate so we can close this now. Now we need to go to the registration edit that's a uh, actually registry edit to give some settings over there. Now as you can see here I have uh, the registry you come all the way to HK local machine as you can see here move to system current control set SSTP SVC and parameters which is why I am currently okay this is the path so make sure you follow that path to get here this is very important to make sure you do it now under the parameters tab here I have this information now under here I have here no set revocation check I created it myself, which you also have to do by right clicking on the parameters and going for new and you go in for D word 32 bit value. D word 32 bit value. You give it a name like this, okay, and you make I'm gonna delete this. You give it a name like this, key sensitive, no set location check, and give it a value of one. After doing that, you go for OK and we are done with this. Don't mistake and don't do any mistake in this step, it's very important. And you go for close. Now after doing this, we're pretty much ready to connect to our network. Okay. Um in part one, in the part one, we used the PPTP, so we created a VPN connection that actually deleted that connection. So we have to do it again. So come down here to set up, set up a new connection. So workplace next use. I will set up internet connection later. So I'll type my IP address here, and um, I'll name it Conto. 
all of these wake oh, I'm just gonna tap like that something like that and go from nest and um, creates actually and after creating it I will have to uh, log in so connect and I'm still gonna use my normal user that is the VUSA you already have the user account if you don't know about how I got there you can go check the part one video so you type his password and okay alright just go for connect it's trying to tell you that your certificate we using as a self signed one so I'm just gonna connect that I know what I'm doing as you can see we connected good now guys this connection we just made is more secure than the BPTP alright so if you want to make the SSTP connection this is how you do it with VPN I believe you enjoy this tutorial from all the way from part 1 up to this stage if it really helped you please subscribe give it a thumbs up and make your comment plain or show below I'm very glad to read them thanks for watching and God bless you